Welcome to all of you in Nasrawa State and around the world. This is Lighthouse TV and BCN and I am Becky Casimo. The International Olympic Committee mourns the passing away of one of its members, Patrick Bowman, who died due to a heart attack. Lisa Yelkoba has the full report. International Olympic Committee IOC member and FIBA Secretary General Patrick Boerman passed away on Sunday at the Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires, Argentina due to a heart attack. He was 51. It is with great sorrow and shock that the International Olympic Committee has learned the death of Mr. Patrick Boerman, IOC member in Switzerland and Buenos Aires. The IOC said in a press statement adding that Patrick Boerman was the central figure of the Olympic movement. IOC President Thomas Bach said the shocking news hit us all very hard. We can hardly believe this terrible news, particularly since even today, we have seen him working hard, as we always knew him, for the sport he loved. We lose a young and sympathetic leader, full of hope, who was standing for the future of sport. Our thoughts are with his wife, his children, and his family, said Badge. FIBA president Horako Moratori expressed his sympathies as well, and said FIBA moved forward by leaps and bounds under Boerman's leadership. Patrick was at the forefront of FIBA, making radical changes to its governance structure, successfully building and moving into its own state-of-the-art headquarters outside of Geneva, as well as launching three times three its urban discipline, which became a part of basketball's program at the Olympics. He was also instrumental in the process of One FIBA, the coming together of all of FIBA's regional offices into one corporate group, with everyone looking and heading in the same direction for the best interest of our beloved sport. Last but not least, he led the way in the creation and implementation of FIBA's new competition system, Moratori said. For all of this and for so much more, FIBA is forever indebted to Patrick. Without doubt, we would not be where we are today were it not for everything that he did. His unwavering commitment, tireless work, ethnic and pure passion for basketball means he will forever have his place in FIBA's history. Meanwhile, FIBA Central Board member and Samahang Basketball in Filipinas SBP Chairman Emeritus Marni Pangalina labeled Boerman's death as a devastating personal loss. It is with profound sadness to have learned of the unexpected demise of Mr. Patrick. I would like first to send my deepest sympathy to his family and join them in their hour of grief. Our thoughts and our prayers are with them and about Patrick. He passed away unexpectedly last Sunday while walking in the World Youth Olympic Game in Buenos Aires. That is the patent Boerman, extremely hardworking until the end, Pangalina said in a statement. Patrick was a colossus of world basketball. His influence on the sport transcends his title as FIBA Secretary General and touches most aspects of basketball in most parts of the world. And he has been a good friend of Philippine basketball. As a friend of more than 10 years, I will always cherish those memories of meeting him for the first time in Geneva in 2007. A few months after being SBP president, our presentation in Tokyo for hosting the 2019 World Cup and finally our bid for 2023 in Geneva, he added. He was fair, objective, but encouraging in our meetings and more so in our bids. We and FIBA have lost our strongest pillar. It is best we carry his memory by doing the things he left us with. We all, without exception, will miss him. May his soul find peace and repose in the embrace and blessings of our good Lord who has called him to his home. I am Lisa Yelkoba, reporting for Lighthouse TV. President Muhammadu Buhari has called for religious harmony in Nigeria towards the upcoming 2019 general election. He admonished religious leaders to shy away from partisan politics. Yisa Yelkoba has the full reports. President Muhammad Buhari has appealed to religious leaders not to involve themselves in partisan politics. The president, who made the plea while addressing the fourth conference of the Interfaith Initiative for Peace in Abuja with the team Religious Harmony in Nigeria, 
Buhari urged them to discharge their responsibilities with integrity, bearing in mind that one day everyone will give account to God Almighty. Religious leaders should not be seen to involve themselves in partisan politics or political controversies. As I was, they risk losing their status and public respect. On their part, the traditional rulers, I would request that you encourage your subjects to come out and exercise their voting rights as responsible citizens. To all of us politicians, I ask that we discharge our political responsibilities with integrity bearing in mind that we will one day give an account to God the Almighty. At the conference put together in response to what the conveyors called growing sense of mistrust and lack of confidence in each other among adherents of the major religions, the president described the trend as unhealthy as Nigerian's general election draws near. We refuse to learn by other people's experience and we are refusing to learn by our own mistakes. The question of religion and ethnicity is fraudulent. Some of you know, Juar primaries, dollars were being given, nobody takes Naira. So really, it's materialism. That's what we will fight to make sure that we stabilize at every level and do justice to our country. President Buhari, who decried the practice of money politics and negative use of religion and ethnicity, said, Nigeria deserves a better future for coming generations. According to him, this can only be achieved through the guidance of God as people look forward to a peaceful and credible elections in 2019. He stressed the need to learn from other people's experiences and our own mistakes. Keynote speaker at the conference, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, who expressed optimism in the future of Nigeria, however called on critical stakeholders to unite against the forces of destabilization. We must not condone the wrong deeds of ourselves or public officials just because they belong to our church or mosque. Former heads of states General Yakubu Gawang and Abdul Salami Abubakar, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja John Cardinal Odianekan, and the Sultan of Sokoto Alhaji Mohammed Abubakar were among other dignitaries who gave goodwill messages at the conference. Our religions are not in competition, rather they are intended to create further understanding of the purpose of our creation with a view to strengthening the future of our nation and its citizens. It is absolutely necessary for Nigeria and indeed all citizens to make sure that it is peace. The constant rhetoric about ensuring free, fair and credible elections is a very sweet song to ears of every Nigerian. Mr. President, we thank you for that. And as religious leaders, we need to move from emphasis on competition for dominance to cooperation towards the common good of the entire society. I am Lisa Yolkoba, reporting for Lighthouse TV. This is the size of the package we can take for now. See you next time. Turning your dreams into reality. We are the best. M B C N.